Hey guys, it's your girl Divinity, and I'm back once again. And today is our Boxy Charm unboxing for the month of October and review for the month of September. So, without further ado, let's get on to this video, shall we? For y'all who don't know, Box of Charms is a subscription box that you pay $21 a month to receive monthly. Now they actually have Boxy Lux that you receive every four months for an extra, what is it, $28? $28.99 or something like that? And last month, we received the standard five items. And the theme was Wildflower. One, the first thing that I received was the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Smoky Eyeshadow Palette, which is this right here. And I actually really, really like this palette. Hold on. Let me rephrase that. I have mixed feelings about this palette. The mattes are a little hard to blend. I mean, it takes a little extra work. It's not something that you can't get to blend out the way you want it to, but you got to work with it a little bit to get it the way you want. The shimmers are pigmented. They get you what you want without having to add any extra flavor to it like Mask Fix Plus or any other setting spray that you need, might need or water or anything like that. They are very, 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 they are very, very pretty shades in here. This is an all cool tone palette. And I didn't think I was going to like this palette because, like I said in my um, Box of Charm for last month, when I unboxed it, I don't have any cool tone palettes. And I was really excited to receive this because of the fact that it was cool tone and then be the only one in my collection. And I didn't know if I was going to like it, but oh my god even if i didn't just get this for the mattes the shimmers oh, the shimmers are so pretty and are worth it all on their own most of the mattes aren't really worth it but the shimmers are and i'm glad to have the palette just for that it's not a bad palette this palette is 35 dollars first price point i would say is a toss-up you expect it to be a little better but at the same time, it's not that bad for its price point. I don't know. It's a really big toss-up how I feel about this palette. It's a yes and then it's a no. No to the mattes because no one really wants to work that hard to put out their eyeshadows. But if you aren't a beginner, it's not that hard for this palette. But if you are a beginner, I would not recommend this palette for you. Let's go with that. And let's move on to the next one. The next thing we received... Or I should say I received because there are some variations with this. Is the Galactic Skin Glow Duo. I'm just going to say this. This ish. This ish right here. This is my favorite thing in this whole god darn box. This thing. Oh my god. It is so creamy and so pigmented. And so. Oh my god. I don't know. It's just like. It like melts onto your skin. I don't, oh, it's right here. It's like literally melts into your skin. It's totally worth this price. It's only, I say it's only, it's $26, but it's worth it. I, I have paid more for highlights before, so it's worth it to me. Oh God, it is so beautiful. It just like melts into your skin. It blends into your skin like a dream. I am glad to have this highlighter, this duo. It is just exquisite. Okay? Exquisite. <laughs> Let's move on. The next thing is LMR Cosmetics Ojitos. Ojitos brush set? Don't give me the lying. It's $18. And it was these three brushes. My brushes are dirty, okay? Sorry. But it's these three brushes. Of course they're dirty. I just used them not too long ago. And we received a... There actually aren't no names on here. Is it on the paper? 
The flat painter brush effortlessly applies color onto your lids while the fluffy blender brush can be used to seamlessly blend colors together and the fat tight liner brush is perfect for direct color application on your lashes. Okay, so I'm guessing flat painter brush, which is this one. Fluffy blending brush and the tight liner, flat tight liner brush is this one. These brushes are, um, if we take it into consideration, three brushes, $18, $6 a piece for each brush. That's not a bad price point for brushes, especially since now brushes a piece can cost up to $18. These brushes are worth that and more. They are very soft, very, very soft. I wish I can just like, we can feel it, <laughs> but they are really soft. They blend out eyeshadow very well. I love this tight liner brush. Oh my God, I freaking love this brush. It's the only one I have in my collection and I wish I had more. Love this brush. They pack on eyeshadow well. It's like, I can't say nothing but good things about these brushes and I'm glad to have them in my collection. Extremely glad to have them in my collection. Next up we received is the Grand Cosmetics, Grande Cosmetics, Grande Lips Hydra Plump Liquid Lipstick. That is this. Now, I um didn't actually get a chance to run and actually try this. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I forgot all about it until I start doing this video. Not even gonna lie. It's right here. I forgot all about it. And the one thing I can say is when I put it on my hand last month when I was doing this uh, review, the review slash unboxing of this for last month, is that it took forever to get off my hand when I was trying to take it off. <laughs> I can tell you guys that, but other than that, I can't really tell you anything about it. I mean, it's a pretty color, and it seemed to last very long on my hand. Didn't even come off when I wanted to come off, so... Sorry. <laughs> I forgot all about this. I mean, how do you forget about a bright gold tube? I don't know, but I did. And the last thing is Luxurious Cosmetics Angel Eyes Primer. Okay, so this is the first thing I actually tried. Right after I finished filming this video of last month's box unboxing, I actually filmed another video right, right after it, and I used this primer. And I really like this primer. It has a little tint to it. Let me see if you... That's one thing I don't like about this primer. I'll say that right now is it feels like half of the primer is empty. Right off the bat, when I squeezed this primer, it felt like half of it was empty. It took forever for it to actually come out of the two. But here's the primer right here. You can actually see the tint right on my skin tone. And it shows up on your eyes. It's like this peachy peachy orange color it's more peach than orange but you know what I'm saying and it is very good if you have dark eyelids or dark veins on your eyes and it blocks those out so you can have a clean base to start off with your eyeshadow when you put on your eyeshadows it's very good and it lasts I'll say it lasts about a full work day or almost to a full work day Full work day, full school day, about eight hours. It lasts pretty well on me. I don't think I have oily eyelids though. Might have slightly dry eyelids because you know my whole face is like Sahara Desert. Is it Sahara or Sahara? Tell me down below which one do you say? But either way, my whole face is dry and it still lasted on me. It didn't make my eyes look dried out or anything like that. So I like it. But another drawback. This damn thing is $14. I mean, $14? I'm willing to pay it for a good eyeshadow primer. That's true, but if 
I never received this in a BoxyCharm box. I would have never known who this brand was. And I probably would have never tried this out because Luxurious Cosmetics isn't something I ever heard of before. And jumping off, jumping on a bandwagon to pay $14 for an eyeshadow primer isn't something I'm willing to do. So I'll leave that up to you guys. That's up to you if you want to buy it. But I do like it and I'm glad to have it. That was all I received in my September box. So how about we get on to our October box, yeah? The month of spooky. I haven't even opened this box yet. You see that? Not even opened. So let's crack up and into it. I'm so mad they did this. Like, come on now. Let's just grab the card and this month's theme is Alter Ego. And here is the cord. And here is those beautiful ladies. Now, I know these two are twins. But are these two twins and these two twins? It's not really important, but I was just wondering. Okay, let's just stick our hand in this box. Stick our hand in the box and... Ooh, this is a big jar. Let's pour that out. Yeah, let's pour the big jar out. It is gr Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Made exclusively for BoxyCharm. Okay. Gently massage onto dry skin for eye makeup removal. Apply to closed eyes. Rinse with warm water or wipe off with a damp washcloth. Okay. to receive this but why am I thinking that there's something like this out already I actually think I have something like this but I can't remember the name of it it's like in a purple jar or just there is something like this the Kanique take the day off cleansing bomb that's what I was talking about I got a little sample of it from I don't know where I got it from but I really like this stuff and if this is any good as the Connect one, this is a pretty healthy thing, right? Oh, I can't wait to try that. Next in a box we have. Let's go with this too. <sighs> Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Hawkwind. Okay, so here's the deal. I may not swatch this for you guys. Well, this one that's in my hand because I might actually have one because I got like 30 of her, <laughs> her liquid lipsticks. So here's her liquid lipstick. It's really pretty though. It's a really pretty shade. And if I don't have it, I'm um, happy to have it. But I got like 30 of them. So I need to double check if I got this one already before I swatch it because I'd rather add this to my giveaway pile then um, swatch it and find out I have it. But either way, if I don't have it, I will add a swatch right here, either with this one or with my, my own. But I am happy to have it because Kat Von D does have uh, one of the best liquid lipstick formulas, my personal opinion. It's one of my favorite ones, so I am happy to have that. Next up in the box, we have a weird, oh, what is this? It's squishy. It is Derma, Derma Mova. I don't know what this is. Derma Mova Lace Appeal with Compression Technology Black Bamboo Charcoal Peel-Off Mask. Intense exfoliation facial mask with compression lace support. Oh, is this one of those lace masks? It's two of them in here. Compression for deep exfoliation. Oh, two lace masks plus 20 milliliter tube. Oh, I always wanted to try one of these lace masks. Yes, please. 
oh, I'm gonna put this right over there in my try out wear things drawer because this is weird. The lace mask, but still, oh, so I wanna try this. I can't wait to try that. <sighs> Next up in the box, we have a tube. A tube, nope, a box. A box that feels like a tube. It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I will say this. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I literally have like seven of these. Well, seven mini of these. I don't normally buy full size mascaras because, well, you're supposed to what, get rid of them every six months, three months, something like that. And there's no way to go through an actual full size mascara within six months unless you use it constantly every 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 day and I don't use mine every day so I don't buy full size mascaras I just have minis but I absolutely love it cosmetic superhero and I think I actually needed a new one of this one or I might need to trade out the one I got the mini one I got now for another mini one either way it goes I think I might need a new one of these so I'm either going to keep this one personally for myself or put this in my giveaway pile for someone who actually can use this constantly. You know, someone who wears mascara more than I do and can really use this. I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. I'll figure it out as it go, but I really love this mascara. Like, love this mascara. This is something, this is worth, actually this is the price of the box already by itself. But this is worth it. Completely worth it. And the last thing in this box, I believe. It feels like the last thing in this box. Yeah. It's the last thing in this box. And that is... Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. Eyeshadows and blushes. You know what? This is what I want to do for Halloween. You think I should do that? A masquerade mask? You think I got the talent for that? Because I sure don't. <laughs> like, I tear myself down way before anybody else do. But I don't think I have the talent for that. But you know what? To hell with talent. It's all about fun, right? Might try it out to see. Let's open this up. So... We have, ooh, six eyeshadows, a little mirror, and four blushes. There we go. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to say that. It's a beautiful palette. And I'm, like, contemplating really hard if I want to keep it. Because, first off, this shade right here is screaming my name. And these two blushes are calling my name. But... I don't know, should I keep it just for two blushes and maybe two eyeshadows? Am I gonna use this? That's something that I need to really think about because unless this is a highlighter, this one up here, I'm not gonna be able to use it as a blush. This is pink and we both know how I feel about pink blushes or pink lipstick or pink eyeshadow or well, we, the color pink, we both know that. And these four are so every palette colors, they're like nothing special in them. So they're already something I have. This olive green is probably something I don't have. And that's the only reason I'll keep it. And this like icy bluish silver is also something I probably don't have. So those are the only two things that'll make me keep it in the eyeshadow department. So I don't know. I mean, it's a really pretty palette and Ooh, that's a hard one. I might, I have to figure it out. Maybe I'll give it to somebody in my family. Maybe I'll add it to the giveaway pile. I don't know, but it's not worth adding to my collection when I'm still trying to declutter my collection, if you know what I mean. But that's it. So let's find out how much all this was cost, right? It Cosmetic Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. I did not know that damn thing had the name so that long. I just called it Superhero Mascara and we called it a day. The Derma Mova Lace Appeal Black Bamboo Charcoal Peel Off Mask is $30. If they're saying it's $30 for two masks, 
yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this and get a few laughs, and that's it. Because um, thirty dollars for just two masks, no, nah, I'm good. The pure, pure the Complexion Authority Midnight Masquerade Palette is thirty eight dollars. Kevin D. Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, the Pharmacy Beauty Green Clean one is twenty two dollars. If it's cheaper than the Clinique one, then yeah, I'll be switching over to this one if it does the same thing as the Clinique one does. Did that make sense? Hopefully it did. Hopefully it did. So, I don't know. I don't know. We won't know until next month. Where I try out these products and figure out if it's truly worth its 21 price point. If I saw this box hanging up on the shelf somewhere, would I buy $21 for it? Stay tuned until next month's Box of Charm unboxing. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it. Subscribe and become part of the Divine Family. Hit the notification bell to be hopefully notified. And I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.